so you're here. Today, we're gonna talk about imposter syndrome. Now, essentially, imposter syndrome is when you feel like you are unworthy of the success that you are getting, or that you're unworthy of the success that you hope to have. It's when you feel like you're a liar, and you're wrong, and you don't know what you're doing, and so you have no idea why people are ever actually gonna pay you. So you're pretty much walking around like, Oh my god, why are they paying me? I don't deserve this. I don't deserve to be here. They're gonna find out. I'm an imposter. They're gonna know I don't really know what the hell I'm doing. But I'm literally just walking around every single day hoping this works out for the best. And the reality is, if you've gotten success, it's because you've deserved it. It's because you've worked hard. It's because you've done the things necessary to bring in all of the clients that you're getting. And you've done the things necessary to prove that you're an authority figure within your industry. And that's something that you deserve, even if you don't see it. So, the ways that I personally love to combat imposter syndrome is one, I'll call it what it is. I will call it imposter syndrome. I will say, I don't feel like I deserve this. And that's because I have imposter syndrome about this subject. A good example of this is actually Screw the Struggle. I get so anxious about Screw the Struggle because I am convinced that even though I've been doing this for years and even though I'm full time, and even though I've traveled the world and even though I've done all these things, that I don't deserve to tell anybody else how to do it. That they're gonna hate my ideas, that they're gonna hate the things that I'm teaching them, that they're gonna think that I am I'm crazy. And the second thing that I always try to remember is that even if I don't see that I'm worthy of it, other people do. Other people will tell you, hey, you're doing such a great job. Hey, you're so inspirational. Hey, I love this photo. Hey, you killed this modeling session. Hey, you rock. And if people are saying that to you over and over and over again, at some point, you got to just believe them. The third thing that I do is I speak really highly of myself when I can, especially when I'm not feeling my best. I'll say, hey, you look killer today. Hey, girl, your editing skills are off the roof. Like, you are killing it. And the last and most important thing that I do is I remind myself that I'm just a human. That not everybody is going to like the things that I teach them. Not everybody is going to like who I am and the way that I'm authentic and my energy and the way that I don't ever wear makeup or do my hair because not everybody's going to like you. That's just a part of being human. And they're not required to like you. The only person required to like you is you. So keep going. Remember your worth. Remember that even though you don't feel amazing every single day does not mean you are not actually amazing every single day. You have everything you need to succeed. You guys know that's my favorite thing to say. Keep going. Do your thing every day. Allow yourself to have bad days and allow yourself to have good days. But more than anything, just keep going. Keep going. You'll get there. Promise, I love you and I believe in you.